Dwarves are taking over. Yeah. Yo, dwarves are really good against pirates right now. Look at this armor. Turn the seas. Yeah, right on, right on. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, like this to open up. Boom. Followed by probably Bruber, is it? Maybe Bruber next. Sultan's company. Cave troll. Mate. Here we go. Nothing like a dwarf to get you out of that tight spot. Redeem taunt. Oh, which taunt would you like? Use what's what's this? Oh, watch this. Right, right, right. I got you. I got you. Perfect timing too. They said thanks! <laughs> uh, a man of culture! <laughs> That's quite a good pass for us. We've already got a good hand here. I like this hand. We just need defender. Yep, insured. Ooh, very good hand. Save that for a short round three, potentially. If we could pull Heat Wave, it'd be pretty good. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Ask you, you shall receive! Oh, that is some crazy stuff, man. That is freaking crazy, dude. <laughs> I I wasn't channeling it. I honestly wasn't channeling it then. <laughs> What's up, legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. Our next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your support in helping me achieve that goal. So, as you can see, we have a square tail list here today, and this list got me to pro rank, even with the nerfs to some of the dwarf cards that you're going to see in this list. So, um, leader ability that we're utilizing is Mahakam Forge, Spawn and Play Tempering. That's that special card you see there. That allows you to boost an ally by 5. If it's a dwarf, we're giving it 2 armor also. With Tempering, I really like to just reserve it for when we play Bruva, and just to ensure Bruva's ability works consistently because it plays for a ton of good value. Um, outside of that, we've got Crystal Skull as a stratagem. Boost an allied unit by four, give a veil. I mean, Crystal Skull can come in handy when going round one. Obviously, if some of our cards with abilities, order abilities get locked, um, maybe if something gains a poison status, you can put Crystal Skull onto it prevent it from getting destroyed so that's why i've chosen this but i guess you could kind of choose another stratagem to your liking as well so what i'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up explain how best to play each card when to play it during a match and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this list so we have two dwarven skirmishes um dwarven skirmishes feel pretty good at the moment especially when you're coming up against harmony lists because they offer us some control to destroy those harmony units in particular. This card has the deploy melee damage and enemy unit by 3. If it survived, gain 1 armor. 
order barricade damage an enemy unit by three i should also mention with our leader ability that this gives all dwarves in starting deck one armor so cards such as dwarven skirmisher are less conditional in their play and overall a lot of the cards that we have in this deck have greater synergies with this leader so with these bronze cards that you see here uh, feel free to com to commit them round one really to help you get round control mahakam guard another good card to help you get around control what we want to do with this deck is pretty much emphasize row stacking and i think we're going to be stacking melee row for the most part because one of our resilience units is melee row locked uh this card boosts self by the number of allied dwarfs units on this row so make sure you have enough room to play mahakam guard down and mahakam guard is kind of going to be a card you play later to when you're closing that certain round out that you're playing into so it offers a nice point slam at the end of the round you're committing this card so you could play both guards round one if you like i think that's fine one minor boost an allied unit by two if it's a dwarf also give it four armor i mean we do have armor synergies in this deck cards requiring requiring armor to work effectively uh for example you have zoltan warrior bruva there's a few different cards we need to be armored so we have one minor in this deck to assist with those kinds of cards in particular so kind of play minor as you need to i, I don't particularly search for minor for minor i find uh, when playing this list but can be nice at times when you need that armor we have pella to purify any unit on the board so if our units become locked pella is really good to remove lock from a unit so it could keep working maybe something gets poisoned there is a bit of poisons going around with harmony lists maybe Pe pella plays good in that sense maybe you wish to purify an opponent's defender and by doing so you could utilize heat wave be behind defender whatever the opponent's trying to protect so you're going to use pella as you need to during the course of a match we have two dwarven mercenaries deploy damage self by one for each non-dwarf unit in your hand for the most part this deck is completely dwarf units except for pella so dwarven mercenary should play should play quite fine in this list you won't really have an issue with that deploy condition and once again just play this card as you like during a match four for seven is pretty good you may wish to use them round one maybe to help you get round control or maybe in a short round three leave them in your deck so you have some points left for control we have spores reset the power of a unit uh obviously if something is boosted that's what you're going to use to target um that card a boosted card you're going to utilize this to target that card so you could use this at the end of the match perhaps as a tall punish option if you like or just to help you get around control any point because we do have heat wave in this deck too double dwarven chariot what i like to do with the dwarven chariots is play them range throw so we get the ratty dwarfs pretty good thing about this card is that it has a cooldown of one given allied unit one armor so with the dwarven chariots they're a bit of a package in this deck i like to kind of reserve them to be played with zoltan warrior and munro i think they play best at that time so kind of try to save those cards together they could also work quite good with bruva because they give armor and more units for bruva to boost so this this um card would come out typically round two or three i think at best if we could save it for then double volunteers this is to give our deck consistency because it thins so what you want to do is always keep one of these copies in your deck and by deploying one copy onto the board while we control a dwarf we get to summon the other copy out um, from our deck to the row that this is played on so kind of what i like to do with the hacker volunteers is leave them both in deck and utilize nova gradient justice to play them out i think it's a very nice point swing you can do and aim to do that round one because you pretty much always want to prioritize thinning and consistency as early as possible in a match for best value barclay give each allied dwarf one armor if they already had armor boost them by one instead i believe this card probably plays best with bruva because it's giving units armor and also in combination with berserker units maybe the berserkers that you uh spawn lose armor and then this can give them armor it keeps their ability going so it's most likely going to be played at that time probably around two or three as well outside of that the card offers somewhat of a point slam 
um, generally speaking, in this deck build. So I've added Pauly in here because I do like to have flexibility in the decks that I build. I like to have a bit of everything because you never know when you may need some kind of answer in particular to help you win the match. So Pauly offers us movement, another form of control, I guess you could say. Deploy mover unit to the other row. And the order is given allied unit to armor. So I think it's a good value card. Six points on the board and two armor and movement. Pretty good. You're going to kind of use this card as you need to. But outside of that, it's nice to have to synergize with your other units that require armor. We have Zoltan's Company. Spawn two ratty dwarves on an allied row. Increase the number of spawn dwarves by one for each Zoltan in your starting deck. So this is the rowdy dwarf here. In this deck here, we have Zoltan, um, the resilient Zoltan and Zoltan warrior. So I believe this card will be giving us four rowdy dwarves. And what we want to do is Zoltan's Company. There's a bit of a combination play with this card. We reserve this to be played in particular with Defender and Bruva. And it's a very nice um, tempo play because Bruva will be offering a lot of boost at that time. Typically, at best, what you want to do is kind of bleed, if not 2-0 with this deck. So if you're pushing into round two, you can kind of slam Defender down, um, play out Sultan's Company, and then play Bruva right away. Get that really good tempo. So um, to cut a long story short, just save this card for Bruva for best play, I believe. So we have two resilience units in this deck. The way we want to execute the play of these cards is to play them round one and play them late round one so they stick to the board and give you that resilience carry over value, ensuring us a good bleed potential for round two. So resilience basically means when you play this card initially onto the field, it will carry over into the next round, okay? The deploy of this card boosts adjacent dwarves by two. So it gives us eight points of value on the deploy, which isn't so bad either. Then we have Zigrin, another resilience unit. We're playing this melee row. Good thing about this card is it's also an engine. Whenever you play a dwarf, boost self by one. Try to play both of these cards late round one at best. Obviously, after that, you'd be playing them round two latest. Defender is in this deck to provide protection for Bruva in particular uh the order is that move self to the other row and what we want to do like i said if you can go for the 2-0 and play Bruva round two behind defender with sultan's company i think that'd be a great idea decree gives us consistency play a unit of your choice from deck maybe round one you want to look for a resilience unit play that as your final player round one maybe you're looking for Bruva a defender basically just target your gold cards with decree at best now the gradient justice we can use this to give us points to get round control round one so this allows us to play a dwarf or crown splitter unit from our deck make sure we already have a dwarf on the board before playing this because if we do we get cleaver's muscle that five point unit there which is pretty cool and yeah a pretty nice uh early play of round one that we can commit and like i said the target that I'd like to go for would be Mahakam Volunteers. Dwarven Mercenary is a nice point slam too. And then for control to balance our deck out, I've got Heat Wave in here. Banish a unit or an artifact. Heat Wave's pretty consistent at the moment. I think a lot of players are playing scenario cards. In addition to that, there's a lot of units going tall at this time. So it's a good tall punish option as well as an artifact remove. We've got Bruva here. Pretty much the powerhouse of this deck. Deploy, gain one armor for each dwarf in your hand. Barricade at the end of your turn, boost all dwarves with armor on this row by one, losing one armor. So because of that deploy condition, it kind of makes sense that obviously you want to, when you're playing into a round and you're going to commit Bruva to that round and you know that, you pretty much want to play him ASAP. Like you'd play Defender and maybe play Bruva next thing, or you'd go Defender, Zoltan's Company, then Bruva, just to give him as much armor as possible. And like I said, if Bruva loses armor and the ability ceases to work, you can click leader and give Bruva more armor to play. So really save Bruva to be played when you have Zoltan's company and defender because he's a bit of a sensitive card. He can get answered. So be around two or three play. Then we got Munro here. Seal order ability. Transform one allied rowdy dwarf into a dwarf berserker. Cooldown two. Barricade set cooldown to one. So our leader ability naturally sets him to a cooldown of one, which is great. 
and the Dwarf Berserkers are these units here. Synergize Munro with Dwarven Chariot with Sultan Warrior. Um, this card you see here. And I guess it could even work with Sultan's company. Okay, so bit of a package play, Munro. Either you're going to commit him round one with Sultan Warrior and the Dwarven Chariot, or round two or three, anytime really. What I'd say about this deck is it's quite flexible in how you could play it out. It just depends on the draw of your hand at the time. Of course, if you could kind of save Munro round two and three, it's it's it would be better because he's quite a good player. And Sultan Warrior finally deployed damage to enemy units by three for each unit that survives. Spawn around your dwarf on this row. Barricade at the end of your turn, damage a random enemy unit by one. So pretty nice there with the barricade value. Uh, one point of damage per turn as it passes. You can utilize Zoltan to help get your round control to help bleed, finish out a short round three. Once again, another flexible card. Just bear in mind the synergies that it offers. It's providing extra units on the board, which could work good with Bruva and Munro as well. Okay. So now that we've covered the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. Round one, just try to utilize bronze cards, resilience units, and Novigradian Injustice to win you. So you could do a proactive play such as Minor, maybe Mercenary. From there, uh, play at Novigradian Injustice, getting you Mahaka Volunteers. In addition to that, you may wish to play some other bronze um, dwarfs that we have. And then you can play your resilience units out. And let's say to close the round, you can slam some Mahakam guards down. If that gets you round control, we definitely have the capability to bleed with this deck and the tempo it offers. So bleeding is not a bad option. It's really going to depend on the kind of deck you verse. If you're versing a non-control deck, maybe going a long round isn't so bad with final say because we've got heat wave and spores. But anyway, if you wish to bleed, you can do that. Having resilience units down on the board allows us to even 2-0, to be honest with you. You may wish to play Defender, where the resilience units are. Play Bruva, play Zoltan's Company. That could be a ton of points getting you 2-0. Um, maybe just wish to push to a certain point and then pass. If not, in a short round 3, you can even rely on Zoltan Warrior, Munro, Dwarven Chariots, and whatever else you got left to win you the match. Okay, So just keep in mind the different package plays we have in this deck. And... Just try to play conservatively and keep those combinations together for the most effective plays. So I hope you enjoy the following matches and please share your feedback down below. Uh, ooh. Bleed them round two. So it's precision strike. Let's check it out. Precision strike harmony. Really now. Just start it off like that. Probably going to justice. Okay. Go for some thinning value. We can play resilience units here. But inconsistent. Never really got into cultists. Few people have been asking me to make cultist decks. What's up, V? Do you play V? Because the first part of your name looks like V. Are you a V player by any chance? Could go like this. I think we do it here. <laughs> Call me whatever you like, baby. It can be a good counter to pirates here. Yeah. I think so. Because armored units, right? And worked pretty good against Seahill in the first match there. Haven't even got the card. I don't think I've got it either, yeah. It's kind of popular now too. So yeah, maybe dwarfs are good. So we can play um, the Resilient Sultan next to the other Resilience unit there. 
Could be a good idea. Just keep it alive. Oh. Hey, man. That's quite a good pass. For us. We've already got a good hand here. I like this hand. We just need Defender. Yep, insured. Ooh, very good hand. Save that for a short round three, potentially. If we can pull Heat Wave, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. <laughs> oh, that is some crazy stuff, man. That is freaking crazy, dude. I I wasn't channeling it. I honestly wasn't channeling it then. <laughs> I swear, like usually when I when I try to go for it, I try to like get some good energy focused on it, you know? And that's how I do it, like law of attraction kind of a thing. But I, I just I just said it this time. Um Why not man? Okay, we'll throw out Sultan's company. Two O, yeah, pretty much. Um, defender's good because it kind of screws their leader, unless they have something for defender. So, is this a rent free list reversing? Because I got that. Okay, so they're trying to damage to get through. Should I, should I buff it up with leader? I mean, there's a lot of points now. Can be win. Yeah, we're gonna come back to it, man. What? Wow, man. Okay. That's pretty good. Maybe we're playing into this now. So we got two, four, six. Could be a back row. Go back across the Yeruga, you bodies. Probably want to keep it alive. The best defender in the game? Um, I'm not sure. I like Cave Troll. Cave Troll's not bad. What do you guys reckon? Got it out, at least. <laughs> That's one way to look at it, man. So two, four, six. Maybe just stack it here even. Blood, blood. Um, so Monroe's turned into be a really good engine now if he doesn't get answered. Alright. Do we care about that? Should I get rid of it? Maybe. I think we can still push a bit with the guards. Ren free? Okay. Let's see how she plays. Yeah, it's Batiste. Go ahead. Feel it. 
Damage an enemy by six. Maybe kills what? Sultan? Oh, we're gonna heat wave target. A berserker? Mm. What a poison. Probably going all in. We're just gonna heat wave the ten. Should be a 2 0. Oh, that's a big point swing. My goodness, that's big. Okay, I think we got it, right? <laughs> nice. Oh, good, 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 good. Show what's up, man. They better be not mess with my boy. <laughs> oh crap! Uh, so I'm getting I'm getting into these streams too much, man. I probably need to chill it out a bit. Someone might interpret me as toxic. Who knows? Um, what if we just open with this? Yeah, I see Kev. Okay, cool. Sounds interesting. Thank you for sharing. Okay, we have a thing. Onslaught, Pirates List. Expecting a lot of damage and control. Morkfug's already out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. Such a fantastic start to the match. This is exceptional. Oh, hi ho. Hi ho, hi ho. Dun 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 Isn't it a bit unprofessional? Is what unprofessional? It's not on any maps. What? You really got him there. Mate, I'm coming for you. Never had your kneecaps broken. Is he worth me committing like that? Maybe even this. <laughs> We're looking to kill Bjorn off. It really depends on what people agree to, I guess. That's a big part of it. How, do, how are people comfortable with it, I guess? <laughs> Seagulls? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Come on over to Pappy. It's so good to get Morkfarg out, man. Wow. 
honestly incredible. <clears throat> right. Wow, this is lovely. This is so nice. Really, really good. Rowdy Dwarves, Rowdy Dwarves, Bruva. Very, very good. Double Guard. Well, they are playing Sunset, Sunset Wanderers. So, you know, it might not be that bad. Coral? That might even be amusing. Okay. All right, all right. Very interesting. What's up, you absolute legend? Triple six is in the house. Yeah, we good, we good. Was good, baby. Compass deck, you reckon? Don't touch my tokens. Leave them be. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna get the transformation value coming in clutch. Dwarves are taking over. Yeah. Ah, satisfying as blood and rape our blood. Yo, dwarves are really good against pirates right now. Look at this armor. Turn the seas. Yeah, right on, right on. That's cool, that's cool. I think we're going for Bruva, man. Oh, nice. Save Bruva. Here we go, here we go. We can still bleed because we've got spores. Um, it's butt crack. Okay. Gotta be very careful what they play there. Right. You know what? That's a really good observation by Lemon. Because the zeal was pretty crazy. Like you just go bing, 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 transform everything, right? So, I don't know. It's it's difficult to call. I mean, playing him behind Defender feels crazy though. <laughs> if he don't get answered and he's behind Defender, he is just photocopying Berserkers. Yeah, that's true. What's up, legend? What's up, baby? Everyone gather around, show each other some love and support. We are here on this day to have a good damn time. Should we save that late first round? Maybe they have control to deal with this. Good vibes. That's right. We're all gonna make it to pro rank. I'm bringing you with me. Not 
Okay, Saskia Commander. Copycats. How could they? Maybe now we'll play him. How could they play dwarfs? That's what we're doing. I'll do so sword in hand. All right, wave. Thank you for your time. All the best to you. The Second time. Their taste still on my lips. Mate, I'm not afraid of that. I'll have you know. Maybe um, we throw down a chariot. So they've got an elf, dryad, beast, dwarf, witcher. Witcher could come up. They're not getting much more thinning value. I don't think so. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Why not? Give it a try. They go digging for the other poison, probably. Okay, so we get a Neuromancy out of the way. Leave while you still stand. May be none too tall, yeah. but black stones as well as any other. And? Okay. One leader charge. And now? Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I think we're out of here. Man, we got Oak out. Leader charge. I think Oak's really good to get out here. You think they just go a long round against us? Really good against the harmony units. Maybe get rid, rid of one of these. We kind of, yeah, we kind of need that. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. We got a heat wave. We got the heat wave, my friends. Um, do they have scenario in this deck? Can they fit it? With Oak and Saskia. Hey. There you go. I got my answer. I got the answer. That slowed them down. <laughs> oh, that's true, man. Um, okay.
Probably going um warrior. Yeah. Chameleon. Come a come a come a chameleon. They come and go. We are absolutely sniping chameleon. I'm calling it now. Magic moments. Okay, it would have been epic if I got it though. You can imagine that in an intro to a deck guide. I'll keep doing it till it works. <laughs> I did it before with the Alp in the Vamps matchup. That's going magic moments, man. We're keeping it in there. You'll catch it later. Never have. Better odds than roulette. <laughs> They've got the magic baby. Yeah, let's just kill it off, man. So, we have spores for this card here. They might use leader here now. It would be a bit inconsistent with Milva though. Because we've got armored units. This could act as a point slam now. Abattoir. Just do a little bit for the revolution. Don't you fret about me. I take care of myself. Okay. Oh, some five. Let's yeah, say so we can't use that now. Unless we go like this. Uh, I've got to get this stinking mess in order. How should we go about it? Like, I could pull for Zoltan. Get a leader. Maybe that's not effective here. Maybe we do it like that. I mean, these are quite good now, this hand, but we need the swarming stuff. God, man. If I get Sultan's company, dude, I feel we've got to kind of push for it. No. So what's the Kree getting me? See Otter. Yeah, check it out. I've got an idea. Check it out, check it out. They're gonna move Defender with Leader, then we move it back with Pauly. I've got an idea. Do they have something to answer, Bruva, though? That's the bigger question. They got a lock. Wind blows. 
Yeah, we got pillar, baby. All right. The realm of the living severs your chain. Abandon now, your mortal state. Tyrion? Oh, I'm feeling sleepy, grumpy, dopey, and bashful. Barnabas. Sorry, eh? Turn it back for an encore. Yeah! Double shape! Forty to twenty six. Oh, crap. oh, buddy. We have got some exceptional cards. I am stoked to see this. What an amazing hand we have here. I'm very pleased. We need a proactive play. It's probably going to be that. Okay, right. Now we, must stick together. we must stick together as the mercenary state if we wish to survive. Mm. Thank you, Zero. You're a legend. Love you, my friend. Mate, I ain't praising the great sun. I'm here repping dwarves. I don't want to hear about it. Put the sun where it don't shine. And slave five. Seriously. You're really going for poisons, dude. Why are you going to make things complicated like this? So, five or less. Um, what am I going for with the Kree? This one. What about that? Is that good? It's armored. They can't just seize. Can't take it. A lot of tactics incoming. Yeah, a lot of damage. Definitely a lot of damage incoming. Good thing is we're armored. So we negate um, some damage. Hey, heat waves out of the way already? Okay. So, Bruva and Leader are safer? I mean, um, what do you call it? Defender's safer? I, I don't feel bad about that. And next, diplomacy. Nice. We're not really seeing much strength with their hand, mate. Are they playing harmony or enslave? Which one is it? Water as the poison. Come on, you gotta pass now, dude. Yo, it's a good play. Sounds crazy, fool. We have an exceptional bleed hand. We are looking for the um, swarming card at this point. 
Zoltan's company. Ladies and gentlemen, are we going to pull into it? Do we have the magic today? Okay, okay. A unit? Mate. Five. Like, is it smart of me to do this? And should we buff it up with this? Because heat wave's gone. Crap! Heat wave in yen? Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Taunt opponent. Yo, Ritzy, you've picked the best leader skin to redeem um, these taunts with. He's freaking hilarious, man. You want a um, nice move when they use leader? I'll try to remember it. Like, you mean well played, right? So this gets seized. Uh, guess we're doing like this. Well played, yeah. Damn, man, Yena forgot me, friends. I wasn't expecting it because Heatwave was out. I was thinking like, okay, that's their tall punish for the match. Wait, so I'm doing it now? Alright, you did good there. According to Ritzy, you played well. We now know what side of the board Ritzy wants to win. But that's alright. I'll cry elsewhere after the stream has ended. <laughs> uh, let me see. <laughs> oh crap! We're gonna snipe that one. <laughs> oh man jeez this player's got the answers dude they've got the answers are we really doing anything here uh, do I just pass now what do I have left but Maybe it's a pass, eh? Cause one. I don't know, this person freaking destroyed me. This person's like completely destroyed me this match. I this Surrender got me off guard. Yeah, right. Sub 72. Apparently, Surrender is um, in everyone's deck these days. They have um, Defender from us. Maybe we need a way to give armor. Spores! <laughs> we only wait for muzzle. Right. It probably is in there. Fegus. How could you Fegus? Do we just go for it right away? Uh, maybe they waste some of their control. Got Sultan's company. 
It's all good, Ritzy. We're hanging in there. Sometimes life gets tough, man. I will see dawn for you. <laughs> We're playing dwarves. Um, this list got me to pro rank. I'll be uploading it to my YouTube channel um, shortly after the stream has ended. You can catch it there. Pro rank dwarves list. Children giving parents up after death. It is inevitable. No, no, no. Yo, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna freaking use Golden Froth onto the seed, double activation. My friends, we are versing a high roller. This is crazy, man. Some absolute moves. Freaking high roll. Seriously, harvest into that? Yeah, okay, okay, man. The favors are up. Let's get to work. Come on, Bruva. You can do it. No, an interesting. I swear, man. man. Oh, my freaking. Uh, Crap! Um... Hold on, hold on. Probably heatwave that. They got all kinds of control, I swear. <laughs> Man, you name it, they got it, fool. <laughs> the North must be destroyed. Oh, wow, Otto as well. This is a devastating list, honestly. Man, we got handled. Seriously, bro. Spores is dead too, pretty much, I think. We got destroyed on this one, man. That's it. Ritzy, mate. Let's do it now, eh? <laughs> Why not, dude? I don't think it matters at this point. <laughs> oh my god. What?